In this tutorial, we'll see how to create an underline on hover for your links in your bootstrap nav bar. So I just have a simple project here. I just have a nav bar here that I basically just copied from one of their examples and then modified it a little bit, right? Because you're not going to remember all of these classes, especially from these bigger components. So, and also the HTML is quite cluttered as you can see, right? So you're not going to be able to code this from scratch. So better, better to go to documentation and just copy one of their examples and then modify it to get exactly what you want. So what we want now is if we hover these links, we get like an underline. So these links have a class of nav link. We're going to write some custom styles, right? So it's really important that you have mastered the underlying fundamentals. Those are CSS and JavaScript. I have courses on them. So definitely check out the, the courses if you want to take them to a professional advanced level. You can find the links in the description. So here what we want to do is in the hover state, all right? So when we hover these links, then um, you actually have a couple of options and I'll show you why some of them are, you know, attractive and other ones are not. So we can say simply text decoration underline. And when you do that, you get an underline, right? Maybe this is all you want. Now this is not very smooth as you can see. So what you can do is you can add a transition, right? So you need to understand animations and transitions in CSS. So you need to add a transition to like the normal, uh, you need to use the normal selector. You can say everything, every property that gets changed, all properties that needs to happen in 0.2 seconds. So now, oh, actually, now that actually doesn't work because we cannot, we cannot um, make this a transition, right? So this is one downside. Another um, option that you have is simply to make it a border. So you can say, I want a border of two pixels on the bottom and it's going to be, um, you know, a green color or maybe green yellow, right? So now you can see that does work with the transition. It sort of grows in there, but it, t it takes up space, right? So it actually makes the nav bar bigger, which is also not what we want. Um, what it comes down to is for these situations, a lot of people use a so-called pseudo element. So we still have we hover state and in the hover state, we want to create a before pseudo element, or let's actually use the after one. So there are before and after, right? So make sure you learn CSS, it's really important. So you always need to include the con content property because this is typically used to add, for example, text, right? Here, we're not gonna add text. We, ju we just wanna have like a bar that we're, that's, that's gonna be displayed in the hover state. So we're just gonna style this like a bar. So it's gonna have a height of two pixels. The width will be 100%. The background color will be the same as before, green, yellow and it needs to be position absolute. This will take it out of the normal flow, so it's not taking up any space, right? So it's not gonna make the nav bar bigger or smaller. So it should, it should be positioned at the bottom and zero pixels from the left. Okay, so now, so now uh, when you use position absolute, it's also a good idea to um, make some other element explicitly the reference point. So we're going to make the parent element here, which is actually just the nav link itself, the parent element. So when you do that, uh, we get this, right? We get the underline to make it smooth, to make it smooth here. We actually need to make um, the transition. We need to add that to the actual uh, pseudo element, right? Not in the hover state, just a normal, um, the normal uh, selector. And we also need to, um, well, we can do it with opacity, for example. So here we can say in the hover state, the opacity should be one, right? So in the default situation, it's zero. In the hover state, it should become one. And actually, uh, when we do it that way, it's better to simply make all of this go sit in the normal, uh, the normal rule set, you could say, um, com content especially, right? So now when we do this, we have a nice hover effect, right? It's a little bit confusing here with these after and before pseudo elements. Um, this is actually a better way to do it. So what the only thing we're gonna have to do in the hover state is set the opacity to one, right? So initially it's zero and then it's gonna be opacity one and that change is gonna be a transition because every property that gets changed is gonna happen in 0 0.2 seconds. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.